My name's Tom. I play timpani with the Flanders Symphony Orchestra. And I'm here to explain a little bit about our program in November with Duncan Ward. Bolero is unique in that it's a piece that sort of isn't a piece. It has two main tunes, one or two rhythms going alongside it. It takes the form of one big crescendo. Starts very, very small, ends very, very big. There are very few contrasts. There is no change of speed. Only one very brief and very noticeable change of key. That ends up being something that a lot of people either love or hate. Even though it begins on the snare drum, which is a, almost in this piece a, a, an instrument without colour, every other instrument of the orchestra at some point joins in and jumps on this train and plays this unending, almost dehumanising rhythm. It's almost as though the snare drum is the starting point, almost like a dot in the middle of three dimensions. While everything is swirling around, this thing is just beating and beating and beating until it gets louder and louder and louder and consumes everything, at which point the whole piece collapses and, and that's the end. As someone who's had the privilege of coaching the SOV Young on a number of their productions, I think it's going to be great fun to welcome 27 of their young musicians into SOV Old to work together and to make music together. I think Berio brings a real folkiness to the way he writes for this small classical ensemble. Uh, particularly in the string writing, you can imagine hearing it coming from the porch of a prairie in the American Midwest, or the wind instruments that end up sounding like some kind of hurdy-gurdy or accordion from the east. And also the voice, the, the amount of acrobatics that the singer has to do, and different styles and different languages. And then he uses the percussion really nicely as well to bring in little almost cosmic sounding, just come out of all this lovely earthy folk sounding music. Les Andes Galantes by Rameau was written in 1735. A lot of Baroque percussion was improvised at the director's request. We have a few instruments available to us to improvise on, things like tambourines, tabors and frame drums. And the rhythms that we tend to play in these pieces are fairly basic. Lots of quarter notes, eighth notes and lots of repetition. I think that the contrast is key for this program. We have all these different colours complementing each other and accentuating the differences and bringing your attention to all these cool little things you might not have heard before. And by not fitting together, they actually fit together perfectly. <laughs> <laughs>